This video is of the OK3 Air Cessna 185 restoration project. November 70162 has been in our maintenance shop for about a year and change. We bought this airplane from the uh, Department of Interior up in Alaska uh, about 15 months ago and it's been in our shop undergoing a extensive restoration from spinner to tail. We tore it down a parade rest inside, pulled everything out as you can see here in the videos and we're going to rebuild it uh, with new components pretty much throughout and uh, once we're done with the interior uh, we plan on flying it for a little while and then uh, getting it a, a paint job. So when it's all done this should be a absolutely gorgeous Cessna 185. This is a 1972 model. This airplane has been a Alaska workhorse pretty much for its entire life. Has uh, pretty good records throughout. Has done pretty much everything you can do with a Cessna 185. It's flown on skis, it's flown on amphibs, uh, completed various missions for the Department of Interior. Has a really uh, interesting history. Anyway, really excited to get this airplane uh, airplane done and flying, and uh, get it out there working or get it on the uh, on the market for resale. Okay, as far as the interior, we just talked about the panel. We're basically pulling everything out and and watching you guys go through the process. It was apparent to me that there was a lot of extra wiring in there. Yes. Tell us, tell us about that a little bit and what you guys have done. Well, there's, I mean, there's everything in there from old FM radios, which were required by the Department of Interior uh, for the contracts they were flying, to the external um, antennas, which they used for polar bear and, and uh, wolf surveying uh, for chasing animals on collars. A mm -hmm. um, lot of coax. We probably pulled out 15 pounds of coax cable alone. It's just, it's not, 15 pounds. yeah, of coax cable. yeah, and then not, that's not including the antennas it was hooked to or yeah. the heads, the equipment that was driving it. Yeah. Um, a lot of this stuff is going away, which was never, it was never on this airplane when it was produced. This but, is all added on over the years. Over I mean, the this years. airplane has been a workhorse up in Alaska. Absolutely. It's been on right. floats. It's been on skis to the point where the, you know, they had the end number painted on the actual gear leg so they could find them again because it's on and off them so much. Wow. Um, it, it's truly been used as per Cessna developed and designed this airplane backcountry. Right. So that's all been cleaned out, yep. basically the panel. We redesigned the panel from scratch. Right. Uh, much more simplified panel. We'll take a look in there real quick. Then working on back, uh, we talked about the corrosion, the cleanup, the corrosion prevention, etc. We're also putting a brand new interior. Yes. All right, tell us about that plan uh, and exactly what we're going to be doing in there. Well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, first off, once we're finished with the corrosion preventative and all the, and the wiring that's going to be covered up by this new interior, um, we'll be going back with a, a closed cell foam in, uh, insulation, half inch, which will encompass the entire cabin and uh, the rear of the firewall. And then over top of that will be all brand new fiberglass uh, paneling, which is uh, SDC now fitted by a company uh, developed by a company back east and made to our specifications in our color and then we'll put it into the airplane and then we'll go through our seats and put some memory foam type NASA foam that's comfortable in our seats and also the vinyl instead of the old cloth uh, so it'll be totally retrofitted to the point where when you get in it you'll think it was a restart airplane right uh, a that's, later that's Cessna the goal airplane. is basically rebuild it as though it's a yeah. new airplane and but quieter keep... airplane of course with the installation and the soundproofing yes Okay. Well, why don't we do this? Uh, we'd like to take a look at some of the specific areas because it's actually quite impressive uh, how far you've taken this airplane apart. Uh, so we'll jump in there. We'll take a look at a few things. Maybe you can point them out to us and just tell us generally what you guys are doing and, and where it currently is and where you intend to you know, end up. Absolutely. Okay. As you can see from the view you guys have got here um, is essentially the forward part of the cabin, the instrument panel and the firewall, which you can see behind it. Normally that's unseen. We've stripped all the insulation off. All the, all the uh, ventilation has all come off. It's all going to be redone, all brand new. Uh, scat tubing, insulation, uh, the firewall ceiling is all going to be completely redone. Um, this panel is going to be all redone. Essentially what we're doing is we're going to have fabricated a panel that, that, it, that attaches to this panel. This panel, the pilot's panel, is a, is a floating panel uh, for the flight instruments. It has isolation mounts. Um, this one here is a fixed panel. It's actually a portion of the airplane. Um, and we will be clearing this out to accept our new instruments, which will be on, on, an, on a panel that we have fabricated that will be attached here um, to make it view. You can uh, see the rear of the, of the cabin compartment. Um, we are going all the way back 
uh, behind this panel we've removed the baggage area and the battery box and gone in and completely redone that uh, taking care of any corrosion which was very minor for this aircraft actually um, and then this project is almost complete here's a view of the new panel it flew for the first time after the extensive restoration on the 29th of february we have a couple more uh, issues to address and a paint job and uh, she will be done nice airplane